Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. P game. This is your boy Town Biz. All right, check this out. All right, man. Hall of Fame receiver Terrell Owens uh, makes a shocking revelation and allegation at the same time about Donovan McNabb. He basically says he knows for a fact that on the eve of the Super Bowl in which the Eagles were defeated by uh, Tom Brady and the Patriots that Donovan McNabb was out partying and drinking. Now, keep in mind, this is fact, this is documented that Donovan McNabb threw up in one of the uh, the huddles. And keep in mind, it was a good game, but you know, the Patriots prevailed at the end. Donovan McNabb just couldn't make key plays towards the end. But T.O. was balling on one leg. T.O. would have been the Super Bowl MVP. I mean, T.O., he balled out. I mean, he had the game of his life. But unfortunately, Tom Brady, you know, and the Patriots prevailed. But I got to say this about Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb, to me, I feel Donovan McNabb is a Hall of Fame quarterback. He has the numbers. His numbers are better than Troy Aikman's. Donovan McNabb has one of the best touchdown interception ratio of any quarterback that's currently in the Hall of Fame. Once again, yes, Terry Bradshaw won four Super Bowls. But look at Terry Bradshaw numbers. Terry Bradshaw averaged an interception a game his whole career. He threw only three more touchdowns than he did interceptions, which means Terry Bradshaw used to throw a lot of interceptions. Now, you know, they would have highlights of him, you know, making great throws, but there were games where Terry Bradshaw was awful, where he made, keep in mind, Terry Bradshaw got benched at one time. For real. So remember that. You know, um, but at the end of the day, man, um, I think this has even worsened Donovan McNabb's, <laughs> you know, this is even worse, worsened Donovan McNabb's effort to get into the Hall of Fame. Like I said, I think Donovan McNabb should be in the Hall of Fame because like I said, Troy Aikman possibly was the most overrated quarterback. When I say Troy Aikman's numbers was so pedestrian, it wasn't even funny. As I said before, Troy Aikman only had one year where he threw for more than 20 uh, touchdowns. Never was a dude that lit it up. I'm waiting for somebody to show me one game where you could dig up where just Troy Aikman just like went berserk where he just made monumental throws so I'm just keeping it 100 you really could have made an argument should Troy Aikman have gotten to the Hall of Fame on the first ballot but you know nevertheless it is what it is um, if Donovan McNabb did that that's, that's really that's, that's fucked up and that's very selfish of him, for him to, you know, basically think of himself instead of the team. Because at the end of the day, you the quarterback, you consider the leader. You know, everybody looked to you. And if you was out partying and drinking to where you couldn't focus on the field or you couldn't give 100% on the field, then, yeah, at the end of the day, you deserve to lose that uh, Super Bowl. And like I said, that's unfortunate. And... You know, you could tell that T.O. is still, like, upset about about that Super Bowl. But I guess you would be, too, if you found out your star quarterback was out drinking. And I guess T.O. might have knew about this, and I guess he felt like, well, you know, it's been long enough, so I might as well kind of put out there what happened. And like I say, T.O. was is within his rights. And don't come on here talking about T.O. snitching. This ain't no snitching. They wasn't moving no weight or none of that kind of stuff. This ain't no street stuff. This, you know what I'm saying? 
this ain't about no this, this ain't about them like you know back and forth and over a chick or something you know nah what Donovan McNabb allegedly did wasn't cool that's all I got to say this your boy Town Biz I'm out